Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on how to find a function or decide a function if it's odd, even, or neither. An uh, odd function is a function where if you have x0 and replace that with minus x0, you should have the function value back but with a negative sign. Okay, so basically, graphically, if you grab this function, this portion of function, and rotate 180 degrees, it will land right on top of each other. Okay, this is the odd function. An even function is a paper folding. If you were to fold this function along y-axis over here, it will land right on top of each other. So basically, minus x0 for the function and positive x0 for the function are exactly identical, give you the same value. It's kind of like you have a twin. Okay, A function that's neither then it's either one of those. The way we test it mathematically is this. We're going to plug minus fx into the function. If this one is equal to a function itself, then we call it even. Okay. That's this case. If this case here for the odd function, we still put a testing value in, which is minus f, f of minus x. If it's equal to minus of fx, then we got an odd function over here. Okay, so let's test it. f of minus x, let's see what happens if I put a minus x into the function itself. Then I have, every time I see x, I'm going to replace, replace it with a minus x. Minus 6 minus x squared plus 9 minus x. Okay, so I did it as a plug minus x in there. This is a minus x cubed. Okay, minus 6x squared doesn't change minus 9x. Okay, so then I just basically simplified it. This is still times multiply sign. As you can see, this doesn't equal to minus of fx because minus of fx is really minus minus 6x uh, plus x cubed plus 9x. So I have a minus 6x squared. If I did have a minus f of x, then this sh thing should have given me a 6x positive, okay, x cubed minus minus non-x. So I almost had an odd function, but not quite, because this term here disagrees with minus of fx, okay. This minus sign just saying minus 1 times function itself, okay. Let's try number 2, but it doesn't equal to f of minus uh, f of x either, because as you can see, f of function of x should be x cubed, which we have a negative here, and then we have a minus 9x. So it's neither here nor here nor there, so the function becomes a neither. Okay, let's try g. When you do the testing, you always plug in a minus x in there, let's see. So the function says something cubed, minus something to the fourth power. And we're going to plug the minus x in here every time I used to have x here. So now it's minus x cubed minus x to the fourth. Okay, so similar problem, similar problem than what we had before because g of x is equal to x cubed minus x to the fourth. Okay, so this doesn't equal to g of x. So basically the testing function doesn't equal to the function itself, and it doesn't equal to minus or minus one times each function either. Okay, so now we have another neither over here. Okay, let's try one more. Finish it off. And number three, I have a function that's k. It's plus the minus x in there. Let's test it and see what happens. I have a two over four plus minus x. So every time I used to have x, I'm going to stick in minus x here. Okay. So this one is really equal to k of minus x. So it's really equal to 2 over 4 minus x. Okay. Then this one doesn't equal to k of x because we're supposed to have a plus here. It doesn't equal to minus 1 times k of x either. Okay. So the answer is neither. All right. Well, hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. 
join me on this channel for more updates. Together, we can conquer math. Until next time, have a confident day.